Alright guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, you probably know this channel mostly for Magic the Gathering, but I also do like to post other things and other interests I like. And I happened to order something and it arrived today, and I am very excited and I would love to share it with you. Let's just see where it came from. Valve Corp. So any hints? Maybe we will see, but this is exactly how it came. I ordered it, and uh, I'm quite excited. Ooh, the Steam Controller. Now talk about something interesting. I never thought I'd really be buying controllers again, since I'm a PC gamer, but it went on sale uh, the past week, like 30% off, and uh, I guess I just had to had to go for it. So it actually does come in quite nice retail packaging. I wasn't sure. I don't even know if they sell them in stores or not, but it looks like it because it has like the clip tag on it. Very interesting. This is actually made by Valve themselves. Some of their first hardware. I didn't get the Steam Link because uh, I don't really feel like I needed it. Uh, it says it comes uh, with, I think, uh, the controller. Uh, a USB cord, the lines mean that it's probably longer than that. This is probably uh, the wireless and it runs on batteries. Oh, I was wondering if it's rechargeable or not. And it says computer requirements, minimum Windows 7, uh, running the Steam client, and a free uh, user account uh, subject to terms uh, Steam subscription agreement. So pretty much uh, if you have Windows 7, uh, a computer that can run Steam, uh, this should be completely compatible with it. And uh, this is like the wireless dongle, so you don't have to have like any additional features, I think. And on the back, it just has a very nice uh, picture of it, and it says, Play all your Steam games from your couch. They're trying to take over uh, the like uh, video game market, and they're doing quite a good job. And it's in quite a few languages, so I'm sure they distribute this. Uh, all over the world. I assume this all just says uh, couch, like sofa, sofa, sofa somewhere in there. Yeah, but very interesting. So let's uh, let's get into the meat of this. Very interesting. Very cool. And I do like the packaging choice. It looks very professional. I wasn't sure if it was going to just come in like a brown uh, unlabeled box or something. But no, it totally comes in a completely retailed looking package like I would expect to see at Best Buy. And uh, maybe they even do sell them at Best Buy or something. I don't know. But this one, it cost me like uh, $39 plus shipping or something. It like totaled to like $40. Ooh, is this going down the fat pack route? It looks like if I... <laughs> let me just... Let me just see something. It looks like if I open this up... There's actually, oh wow, it tells you how to unassemble it. So this is sort of like a fat pack, if you know what I'm talking about, for Magic the Gathering. Uh, with the art on the inside, very interesting. It shows you all the layers and all the components, and very interesting. And this, the Steam controller is so different. It has only one joystick, and these are like essentially touch pads and uh, buttons and stuff. And uh, I'm sure it takes a little bit to get used to, but I am more than willing to give it a try. And uh, I'm just real excited about it. Very nice box, pretty solid quality, nice blue, got the Steam logo in the corner, and all sorts of stuff and goodies. A uh, little logo of the controller itself. And uh, let's go ahead and, if I can, get off all this sticky tape. Ribble, 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 ribble. Ribble wrap, ribble wrap. And uh, it did kind of tear the box, but um, that's all right. It's better to be more secure than not secure at all. And once you open it up, very nice presentation. It goes from a darker color to blue to kind of lighten your mood, and it shows it off right off the bat. Uh, so first, wow, it contours to my hands very nicely. Wow, the triggers feel very good. It actually comes with batteries, no way. Good, good for you, Valve. Good for you. And this is, I assume, the wireless. And I think it can, like, clip in the back. And this also looks like a... If I can focus it. A micro USB port. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe it looks a little bit different. But, um... I don't even really know how this works. Uh, it's very new to me. And I don't know. And there's, like, back buttons. And does this release it? 
And uh, I don't even know where you put in the batteries. It looks like you put in the batteries uh, in the sides here, like down there. Very interesting design. And uh, I think these are actually like buttons on the back because they are clicking. These each have clicking. I'm not sure if it's directional or not. Uh, this one does look like directional and um, they are very smooth. It's not like there's much like I can't easily glide. It has a very nice uh, joystick. Uh, it's very interesting and it's got uh, A, B, X, and Y buttons. Uh, right trigger feels very good. Left trigger feels very good and like a right bumper, nice click sound and a left bumper, very nice click sound. And it's got a gloss finish here and a, a matte finish all around. Very interesting design. Very interesting indeed. And let's dig deeper into this to see if there is a little man manual or something like that. Rebel, rebel. What is uh, this? This uh, this intrigues me. I don't know what this is. It looks like. Oh, if you want to play it wired or something. So I think this is uh, not USB, a micro USB. I think it is their own, their own type of cord. But then again, it actually does look like micro USB. I'm not quite sure. And I assume it just will fit in there like so. I'm scared to just shove it in. I don't know. That looks different to me. I don't know, I don't feel like pushing it in right now. I'm going to read the manual first. And it does come with, uh, in case you want to play wired, uh, I would say maybe about four feet of a cord, which is cool, probably enough. Uh, but if you want to play it, really, this is uh, the wireless dongle, or whatever they are called. Let's get it to focus, valve corp, model number. I wonder if it runs off like Bluetooth or wireless or its own signal. I'd be curious to know. It's probably not Bluetooth and I'm sure it's not infrared as in infrared is quite outdated and uh, you can pretty much block it by just your hand. So let's uh, go ahead and try to install these batteries and just see what happens when we turn it on. Uh, it does have nice graphics. It shows you uh, exactly uh, nipple down, I guess. And uh, what is this? Very interesting, I don't know, but I'm just going to put this in here, and, oh wow, that, okay, that was very cool, let's see that again. The, when you push in the battery, it actually locks in with this mechanism, and then to get it out, you push it, and it pushes the battery out. Now that, that is a good feature, good for them. Man, they did quite a good job at designing this, I feel, and again, put in the battery, and then watch the locking mechanism come and uh, lock it into place very cool so like it won't get jostled out of place if it gets dropped or something because that definitely could happen uh, because uh, the cover uh, has some space there and uh, yeah it's very interesting very interesting at all it's a steam controller valve made in the USA respect thank thank them for not uh, exporting their goods to another country for the labor and then you just snap this on and let's just see what happens when I push the on button it actually has a mic in it <laughs> I heard a little Meep. there's like a vibrational feedback very very interesting and I think it just turned off uh, when it didn't uh, recognize a signal or anything I'm not quite sure but then again, I'll have to read the battery. But for a minute, I was getting like like a feedback from this. Very interesting. I'm very intrigued about this all. Let's just see what this says. I'm sure important batteries. Keep batteries out of reach of children. Blah, blah, blah. Radio frequency emission. Uh, this device emits radio frequency signals. Well, it has... While it has been thoroughly tested for non-interference with other devices, do not operate around uh, critical equipment in hospitals and remove uh, before airplanes. So I guess they use their own bandwidth. I wonder if maybe like you get an RC uh, car, if uh, sometimes the controller would emit the same frequency. That would be funny. Uh, you, could cheap, you should keep it dry and uh, 
not use it uh, when it uh, gets wet, I guess. And it should be kept within between 50 Fahrenheit and 95 degrees Fahrenheit, which is uh, pretty normal, so don't put it in the oven. Very cool. Talks about like uh, you could get discomfort from uh, um, overly playing, like discomfort in the hands and stuff. I think that's quite funny. And then over here, uh, just regulatory information wireless dongle, wireless controller, just like the ID and stuff. Not intended for use in machinery, medical, or industrial applications. This device is used for. Blah, blah, blah. Very cool. So it looks like they have everything in great order. And then it just looks like... This is... Uh, this is still English. Just tells you to dispose of the batteries the correct way. Internet... Rec uh, internet uh, connection is required to access and use the Steam client software. Okay, but I'm sure you can, uh, once you download it, you can probably use it offline. Very cool. Very cool. And then it just goes on to different languages. So that's what that one is. And, uh, this is, uh, the quick start guide. Let's just go here. And there we go. Okay, so this is just, uh, if you want to have the wireless dongle sit on a nicer little, like, platform other than just sticking out. You can stick it in this, and this thing is quite heavy, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's magnetic, but uh, I'm not quite sure, and I will probably end up using it, so, wait, which way? There we go, just pop it in, sits there very nicely, and first took off the back, placed in the batteries, they locked in, and it tells you about the locking, and then, very interesting, uh, no text in here, because uh, this is made for multiple countries, and they just want it to be very simple. And then I guess this is the correct cord, even though for some reason it looks a little bit bigger the hole, but they say it fits, so it fits. If it's in there very snugly, just want to pull it out again to make sure nothing got like exploded or something. Well, if it's in there very snugly, I'm not going to lie. And um, yeah, so you could either connect it, I believe, directly to your controller and play it wired or you could uh, use the dongle and play it wirelessly and then it just says uh, plug it into your computer and then push the power button and I assume it's pretty much automated from there for full control experience log into Steam, download the client blah 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 yeah and uh, that's it uh, next thing I'm gonna do is actually gonna try to boot up Steam and somehow try to film a little bit of gameplay or something alright I'll see you guys in a few minutes Alright, so now I'm actually at my uh, desktop with it on, and I'm about to plug in uh, the USB uh, wireless receiver into the computer, and uh, I don't have Steam on right now, let's just see if it like automatically, I'm sure it's installing the driver, and I'm going to try and turn it on. I did um, already um, set the custom uh, name and tones to the controller because I wasn't sure if it was a security issue, but I really don't think it is, so I could have filmed it, but uh, sadly I didn't. And I guess it didn't start Steam, but I can control my screen with it, and there's like an actual physical feedback. Uh, left, sh left uh, trigger actually sends up the menu, and I believe right trigger is click. So let me try to start Steam. Okay, that totally, totally working. Updating Steam. Well, not really. It acc I accidentally shut off Steam with this controller by hitting turn off system. <laughs> yeah, interesting. It is a very interesting design. It feels very good, quite heavy, not cheap materials, and honestly, quite impressed. So uh, once Steam starts, I'll be interested to see what it says. It feels like uh, the mouse is extremely... It says, using Steam Controller, please run in big picture mode to make full use of your controller. I'll just close that. It feels like there's like an auto, like 
it feels like it's, the mouse moves a little bit after. There's a little bit of wonk in it. So honestly, I don't know how this is going to work. But launching big picture mode, and uh, I'm going to try it. Very cool. Let's just uh, use um, the stick to navigate here. Here, I don't think uh, he's doing anything. And ace that. I guess uh, the right bumper brings up friends. Uh, left bumper, internet, Reddit, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Google. And uh, these two don't do much. So I'm going to just go to my library. And I'm just going to play some TF2. Uh, controller configuration required. This game wasn't designed for this controller, but you can play it with your Steam controller. This game may show keyboard hits during gameplay. All right, all right. I'll give it a go. Lunch. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, see what happens. Yeah, there's a very, like, audible and a very small physical vibration. This, sen this trackpad is very sensitive, and I'm curious as to see how I will be in this game. I'm quite good with keyboard and mouse, and I never thought I'd buy a controller again. I mean, I have a wired Xbox 360 controller because some games are like almost required to use them. And um, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to see. Very interesting. And uh, it is lit up the Steam logo. Gotta say, very cool. It is reflective. Very nice build. So let's just uh, look for High Tower. Just a server to mess around on and uh, see the basics of this controller and hopefully try to get a kill but honestly I have no idea oh I guess I gotta connect and I kinda set up the camera with the controller so you can also see what I'm doing and also see how probably bad I'm going to be at it very interesting I always forget that there's buttons here on the bottom which is interesting wonder what they will be, wonder what this will be um, probably just like back score menu start and uh, I don't know what those will be honestly the stick probably movement these are probably I don't know uh, well I just did some inputs and made my computer scared for a minute so I'll just let it load and then see what happens Oh, very cool. And A is down there to let you know that you can push A to continue. It actually shows this trackpad. Okay, so you can like navigate towards a team. And I want to play Sniper. So let's just, uh. Okay, no, that's not what I want. That like. That lets you change teams. That lets you change class. Down and up, don't do anything. This is uh, the movement. Wow, that is quite quite uh, uh, like uh, very touchy it might be too touchy for me Y I don't know what it does B I think that's F2 A A is probably like pick up a weapon X is no oh, is this a taunt menu yeah I guess X is a access the taunt menu and um, left bumper is quick weapon swap which is Q for me and same with the right bumper, and I assume the left trigger is zoom, and right trigger is aim. I mean fire. And uh, the stick is for walking around, and um, yeah. Oh yeah, and these back ones, uh, the left back one is crouch, and the right back one is jump. Well that's cool, you don't have to like remove your fingers from the trackpad while you, uh, instead of uh, like having to, okay I tried to crouch jump, but I jumped, I mean I crouch and jump first. So I'm gonna crouch jump. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is quite a steep learning curve, I feel, and I'm worried that <laughs> I might not even get to kill this video. But either way, this is a solid piece of equipment. I'm very happy about it. I wish it came with rechargeable batteries, um, but you can always uh, play it wired. Um, and uh, yeah. And I'm sure you can uh, probably buy some sort of recharge. Okay, this is my chance. This is my chance. This is my chance. And it is not my chance. This is quite touchy for me. It's a little bit too sensitive. I'm not sure how to adjust it now. I think I would have to do that in like big picture mode or something. And this cycles through characters. How do I check the map time? Okay, terrible. So now the map's about to change. That is what no one wants. So 
we must disconnect and search again multiplayer show servers searching I'm just gonna try for a few more minutes and if I don't get a kill I don't get a kill and I'm perfectly fine with that let's uh let's try this high tower server high tower is just like the generally known map in TF2 where it's like deathmatch and people kind of ignore the objective and uh one thing I like about this game is just the the like one minute you can be totally just having a murder party with everybody and the next minute you can just be like playing rock paper scissors to the death with somebody it's just a really fun game and uh yeah oh god oh god oh god oh god I keep I keep clicking this to zoom out I don't know why I'm not used to controllers at all I'm gonna be quite rusty and you know this guy's good because he has purple a sniper rifle and an unusual because everyone knows in TF2 if you have an unusual you're amazing I mean I have unusuals and stuff but I don't like to wear them because they make you a target everyone wants to get the unusual wear okay 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 this is so touchy I need to adjust it I might as well how do I change items I might as well put on thy gibbous because I am so good where the heck is my gibbous there we go looks like a free to play now let's get out there and kick some booty <laughs> I hope I can at least get like okay, that sniper is probably still there this is so touchy I cannot believe it why am I okay there's a spy there this is it this is it and he's I don't even know uh, crowd jump is kind of successful. Uh, I want to just. There's a spy around here. Okay, fire my guy, fire guy. Oh, that was. Might be close as I'm ever going to get. Okay, this guy is rocket jumping. I just want to get it. Just a kill. Just one baby kill. Okay, fire guy, fire guy, fire guy. Okay, 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 okay. Man, this is just way too touchy for me. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a kill. I'm just going to give it a few more minutes, and if I don't, uh, then I don't. But anyways, I honestly think this is a solid piece of equipment. I really like the feedback on it. It's very interesting, very sleek, and it's actually very accurate at tracking. Love it. Why? Oh, also opens up that menu. I don't know. This controller has, I think, a steep learning curve. But uh, probably once you get it, okay, Scout, I'm gonna get you. And no, uh, I keep, I keep forgetting how to jump and <laughs> everything. Okay, this is it. If I remember, okay, that's not how you zoom. That is not how you zoom. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, this guy. He, okay, if I can't get this guy, oh god, I'm. Uh, this is impossible. Alright, I'm gonna give it one more life, and then if not, I'll have to try it for another day. But really, this is a great uh, tool, and if you support uh, Valve and like Steam, I suggest you pick one up because it's their first like physical product, and uh, it's actually really good, and it came with some nice packaging, and uh, okay, scout, 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 scout. Oh god, that was so close, but not really. And he's gonna bat me to death, and that's a spy. Who it is? Who invited you? Yeah. And like any game, there is uh, lots I'm of people kidding. and talkers. I'm, I'm sorry. How do you go? Okay, so actually, one more life, and then that is it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a kill with the sniper, but man, I would like to. And if it needs to be, I might have to just go pyro and try to burn everybody. Okay, 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 okay. This guy is like a free to play. Oh, that was, that was mine. <laughs> how do I jump? Okay, that's how I jump. Spy, how do I zoom? Oh man, you got a headshot on me? Dang, okay. There's only one option left. And that's lose my dignity. And uh, not that, how do I back? How do I go back? And I wanna be pyro. No, how do I? No. 
There we go. I want to be pyro and hopefully get a kill. There we go. Maybe I will get a kill now and feel special. Okay, this guy. Okay, I'm just gonna burn him to death. Come on, come on, buddy. Okay, I got a kill. I'm happy as can be. Time to just party. Yeah, great party. Well, anyway, that's my uh, little review of the student controller. I'm actually very impressed with it. Love it, and uh, I'm happy I grabbed it when it was on sale. Awesome. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I hope you have a great day, and uh, take it easy.